my wife, uh, she just died a few months ago. And, and, and then uh, the other day I went by my friend's apartment and found him dead in his apartment. Jesus. And then, so like, that's just been following me. Our condolences uh, from the team here and our love uh, to you. Uh, Thank you. It's never easy. I lost my uh, grandfather and my best friend in February to, to COVID of all things. Oh, uh, no. Awful, awful, awful. M- Melissa, super genie, she had COVID. We didn't know it. She got over it. And then uh, she lost her leg. And then uh, she was sick every other day. And then uh, one day she had a heart attack. It's rough, man. And yeah. she was she was getting checked in, you know, for all her heart and everything. And everything was fine. And then they said she, she had heart disease. But, you know, after she died, they found out she had heart disease. But she had an EKG three or four days before this, before this happened. Yeah. My God. Well, once again, our love goes out to you. Sabu about that. And I don't know if you know, but she died in my hands. So I feel very guilty about it. And the, the, the doctors in the corner said that uh, she wouldn't, she wouldn't have made it even in a hospital settings, but I don't believe that I just didn't, I didn't call the ambulance soon enough. I was doing, trying to do the CPR. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, what I would say to you, Sabu is, you know, you, you can't let, allow yourself to feel guilt, but I have to, it's, she died in my hands and my care. And no, uh, yeah. I'll never forgive myself. Yeah. Hopefully one day, you know, you'll have the strength to realize that it's not your fault, you know, and it's all we can do is pray for you. It happened to my care. And if it happens yeah. to my care, it's my, my mistake. I, I, I should have called the ambulance as soon as I noticed her not breathing, but I thought I could revive her. And I didn't yeah. have my phone on me at the time. So when yeah. I was doing CPR, I was looking around the room for the phone. Then when I got yeah. it, I ran and got it, put it on speaker, and then did it continue with the CPR. But when I started the CPR, I thought, I got, I got this. I'll save her. Did yeah. it. I wouldn't even, I didn't even panic yet. I didn't yeah. panic for about five minutes when she wasn't reviving. Yeah. We just want you to know it's, it's not no matter what you think. I know, I know and it's, it's hard to think that you're going to always blame yourself, you know, but hopefully one day you get over that. Cause everyone has a time. You know what I mean? Everyone has a time. To tell you the truth. I don't deserve to get over it. I should have saved her. I don't care what anybody says about the hospital saying uh, she was savable. Yeah. But anyways, uh, I had enough of that. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please help me out by clicking the subscribe, like, and get notifications buttons on this video so you don't miss any of my upcoming news clips, shoot interviews, or match footage. We are on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Hannibal TV. If you want to follow us on those platforms for instant updates.